Mustering the courage to brave the weather in autumn and winter isn't easy, and I don't claim to be exempt from procrastination, but there are a few jobs at this time of the year that are worth getting wet and cold for. With the world and the state it's in at the moment, it's even more important to get a little fresh air and stretch your legs. Wouldn't you also love a chance to wash your hands because they're actually dirty for once? So grab your wellies, throw on a thick jumper and let's get out in the rain. While watching the leaves falling from the trees, the birdsong, long hot days and spectacular blooms of summer can feel an age ago. But now is not the time for moping or reminiscing. There's still lots of jobs that need to be done in the garden or at the allotment. And if you aren't going to do them, they won't get done. A little hard work in the garden now will also get it better prepared for next spring and summer. Preparing a year in advance is a big ask, but you will thank yourself and you won't remember that you had to leave the comfort and warmth of your home for an hour. For example, any perennial autumn plants you get in the ground now will make that rainy view out of your window more colourful next year, as the flowers come into bloom or the berries start to ripen. If you're able to get out, find a local nursery and look to fill the empty areas of your garden. The plants they have in stock now will be suitable for this season's temperature and sunlight hours. This week I added to this bed some colourful cyclamens, some snowdrop bulbs and a skimmia to add a little colour at this time of the year. I also planted some wallflowers to complement my Alstroemeria, which is just coming to the end of its yearly bloom. While the soil is wet from all this rain, it's a good time to do a little weeding. Grab an old knife and cut down into the soil next to the weed's taproot. With a little practice, the weed should pull right out of the ground. Rake up any fallen leaves and scatter them over your flower beds. It'll add nutrients to the soil and will allow the grass to see a little light, so it doesn't die off. If you have a tool shed, give this a clean out and throw away anything which is broken beyond repair. Sort out your pots so you can get to them easily and clean up, sharpen and fix any tools now so they're ready as soon as the last frost has passed. If you have any large climbers, give these a healthy trim. They won't grow nearly so quickly over the colder months, but a quick haircut will give it a nice shape for the spring. It's also the perfect time to spread some manure if you want to get your hands really dirty. Befriend someone who works at a stables, they've got piles of the stuff, and some even have to pay other people to get it taken away. Most are happy for it to go for free. I picked up 30 bags this year for nothing, which would have cost me a small fortune at a garden centre. It's a good time to fill up your composters too. If you don't have a composter, use black sacks instead and tuck them away somewhere sheltered. Do keep an eye out if you have any young plants in trays. With all this rain they can quickly fill up and drainage holes can get clogged with leaves. Plants can sit in water for a short time, but too long the plant will start to die. You can also bring indoors any less hardy plants, for example chilli and sweet peppers, which would be killed by the cold. Bring them indoors will give them a head start next year. Don't forget to also put some time aside to just sit in your outdoor space for a while and reflect on what worked and what didn't. I grew a lot this year and had some successes but also many failures. We're often so busy we forget to remember. When you're done, hang up your tools pop the kettle on, run a hot bath and grab a magazine. You can now rest knowing that today you invested in yourself and in your garden. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any plant recommendations for this time of the year, please pop them down in the comments so we can all benefit from your experience. Do also consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps me out, and a big thank you and welcome goes to those who have joined us recently. Here's also a couple of videos that you may be interested in. Thank you and happy growing.